Okay, so a lot of people ask me about my trailer. I'm going to go ahead and do a tour to show you everything that's in it and what it is. This uh, is a 2020 6x8 Runaway Venturous. I bought it new from the from the manufacturer, went and picked it up in Ocala, Florida. And uh, when I got it, <coughs> it was just a box. So it was just like a, a cargo trailer with three doors. That's all it was. So I kind of built it out, built everything. That's how these come. That's why it makes it so much cheaper than these uh, $50,000 off-road trailers you see. Uh, this, this was quite cheap. Um, so anyway, it has uh, all the rigid framing that a typical trailer doesn't. I mean, this teardrop is designed to take some pretty big abuse. So first of all, we got 33 inch um, BF Goodrich KO2 tires, got walk-on fenders, method wheels. Uh, it has extra framing with a uh, spine that goes all the way down the middle to the back. Um, it has, what do we have? We have this max coupler hitch, which um, this goes to this. It has its own receiver in my truck. So the whole system's designed to swivel. So the trailer can get uh, the trailer can get off camera. It can almost get sideways and it will stay perfectly hitched to the truck. Unlike a ball, which might have problems at that point. So um, I put this toolbox on myself. Uh, Keep chairs, tools, shovels, tarps, miscellaneous things like that. Um, this side, I put in all these pouches just to give me some extra storage, keep things accessible. Got my axe, gloves, extra light, work light, um, some extra cables, my brum, some kind of survival book, stakes. Um, over here, we have extra three gallons of gas. Can't hurt to have that, especially out here in West Texas. Up there is a 100-watt Renogy, 100 watt Renogy solar panel, which ties in here and goes inside. Then I have a line that goes to my Jackery. So, the back door, um, you open it up. I, I built all this out. Uh, this piece um, goes over this. It all lays flat. 12-volt uh, fridge. Just enough to keep meat, beer, everything you need for like at least a few days. And it stays quite cold. I had the sun beating down here, so it's 40 degrees now. But it'll run at 36 degrees. It'll actually run as a freezer as well. So, I also have storage on each side uh keep blankets paper towels things like that down here other supplies on this side i keep pots pans other things my basic kitchen stuff goes down here so i got my plates uh silverware cutting board knives uh, utensils spatulas things like that i'm sorry it's it's quite a mess because it just got it got all thrown in there um Typically, my stove goes down here. That's where it stores. But when I get to camp, <clears throat> my stove comes up here in this fender. This is kind of like my cooking area. Um, got a propane tank. It's better than those little one gallons. Makes it so much easier. So I got a line here. That tank will last like if you were camping out for two weeks, it's good. Um, <clears throat> I used to use instant coffee. And it just got really crappy. So I started, uh, I got the French press that I bring with me now. So now I have great coffee in the mornings. On this side, uh, this is sort of my bathroom vanity area. <laughs> Mirror, uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant. All that stuff. Lighter, toilet paper. Pretty awesome knife right here that my sister gave to me. Um... So then when we go inside, I built these shelves, um, pretty basic, got these little things at Walmart. I got, uh, 
low voltage fans in here, wires, extra pillows, uh, miscellaneous things. Same for the other side. There's a TV that mounts up there. I'm off grid this time. I can't use it, so I, I took the TV out. Other things up here, uh, some lights. I got, right now, I got my food in here. So all my food supplies, got some fruit, some canned goods for backup, my extra beer, got the Shiner Bach, got the Zegan Bach, got some Michelob Ultras, got some Lone Star in my truck, uh, Modelo's. You can never have enough beer because if I broke down somewhere, I probably got two weeks of food. I got water, but it would make it would make the time pass better if you had beer. So this is my sleeping area. Sorry, I didn't make the bed. My head goes here. I lay like that. Believe it or not, I sleep in here perfectly. It's like six foot one across. <coughs> A taller person may have trouble. Now, when my wife and kids come, that piece of wood, those brackets extend, and it, it comes out to about here, and a twin bed lays across there. This converts into a queen. Two adults sleep like this, and two kids go there. <clears throat> it gets a little cozy, but, you know, it, it works. It's manageable. So, we got other things up here. I've got some... Uh, some pull-out lights up here. And plenty of lighting in here at night. Um, so let me show you. So everything runs off the Jackery. And you can see I'm at 100% battery right now. Which is just crazy because it's so bright. That uh, I've been running the fridge. I'm charging my drone batteries. And uh, I'm still at max power. So that's because we got so much sun. So everything's going good. Um, <coughs> reading material. Uh, unauthorized biography of El Chapo. Which the Border Patrol might find that interesting. Uh, another book about a hermit here. Let's step on that side. This is a gazelle gazebo. I got it because it pops up in literally like two minutes. It's kind of hot in there, but since I'm going to be here a couple days, I went ahead and set it up. And nothing really in here. Maybe I'll need it at night. I don't know. But the lights are strung in here as well, so all this will be lit up. I put my toilet in here. This is a cassette toilet. Seems kind of gross, but they're really not that bad. You sit on this just like a regular toilet. Do your business. You pull this. You flush it. Water goes in there. It all accumulates in here. And uh, <coughs> you dump it at a dump station where RVs go. It, um, if you keep it clean and dump it regularly, it's, it's really not that bad. It, uh, it beats going in a hole in the woods. Uh, so I don't know if we covered the canopy. This is just some cheap Chinese knockoff ARB canopy, but it works great. Everything else, uh, I put these stickers on myself. I tore off all the runaway stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to customize it, make it my own. And, um, I call it the SE... 1099 expedition if you haven't figured that out yet that is self-employed 1099 contractor status so it is kind of an ode to self-employment everything i wanted to do uh everything i, I planned to do so so i got the trailer just to give me a little bit more flexibility with camping i still love tank camping I uh, I still like to go backpacking when I can. Kayak camping, other things. I don't mind sleeping on the ground. I like the outdoors. But uh, this makes things a little bit easier because everything piles in there. 
and I can go anywhere and really all I got to do is throw in some clothes stock up some food charge the batteries hitch up and go so it's relatively easy once everything is in there and I assure it stays stocked um, it just makes it a little bit easier to get outdoors and do things and you know I can hopefully use it more uh, for remote work as well especially when the weather's nice uh, take it out somewhere work in it as long as I got power it, it's good